It's day one of Snooker's Wushy Classic, and we have a first here, Rianne Evans, the women's world champion, the first woman to qualify for a world ranking event. She beat the former world amateur champion, Tepchara Nu of Thailand, in the qualifiers a few weeks ago. This is a wild card match, though. She was unlucky, really, to, to draw a wild card because it looked like she was going to play Neil Robertson. But first of all, she's got to beat Zhu Yingui if that is to happen. Well, it's a big day, of course, for Rianne. She has uh, been on the main tour. She was given a wild card a few a couple of years back. Didn't uh, fare too well. But, of course, uh, she's in a, a difficult position. She's by far the best player on the women's circuit. She's won the world title nine times. So, in some ways, she's too good for the other women. She's not quite yet good enough for certainly the top professionals. But, as I say, it was a good win over Tepchara and Nu. He's a good player. So that would have given her a lot of confidence. She's not actually on the professional tour, but uh, because not everyone entered, they topped up the 128-player field with players from the Q School, and she did pretty well in the Q School, so she got a place. But this is a tough match again. We've got uh, a dangerous young player here, Zhu Yingui. Alison Fisher was uh, the great women's player of 20 years ago. She ended up, she beat quite a few male players in invitation events, but she ended up going to America to play pool, where she's done really well. She'd been very successful. Oh dear, that wasn't very successful. Yes, yeah, that long attempt at the long red there. It's given Rian first chance, although it's got to say it's not an easy one. Just having a look to see if the black goes to the right corner. The pink will go to the right middle. But the red's not easy. First time I've seen a plate. And that wasn't a bad red to start with. Yes, it's worth saying it's not a, ma a, a men's tour that we show on Eurosport. It's open to men and women. There's no discrimination in the professional game. Well, that was a super shot. Played very confidently. Played the cannon to the red. There is, though, certainly a financial disparity between uh, the professional circuit and the women's circuit. Ronnie O'Sullivan, when he won the world title, picked up a quarter of a million. Rianne Evans had won her ninth women's title a few weeks earlier. Her prize was £400. And, of course, the good thing about her now being on television is hopefully other girls will see her and get inspired to play themselves. The culture of snooker clubs, I think, in the UK has changed. They haven't always been the most welcoming place for, for women down the years. Well, that was, uh, didn't want to catch the brown there, obviously. A 
In fact, there are some clubs that are the barred women, not necessarily snooker clubs, but uh, other establishments. Well, it wasn't very far away. Played the cue ball in such a way as not to leave an easy red on for an opponent. And there's some pressure on Zoo here. Playing the women's world champion. He'll be expected to win, but it could turn out to be a tough match, this. Could have done with a little bit more pace in the cue ball there. Still on this red to the left corner. Thinking of playing a delicate cannon to the pink, pushing it towards the middle. Nicely played. This isn't easy. It's red to the middle. Lots of pressure on this shot. Well played again. I'm sure Rianne is uh, excited, nervous, but also determined to make her mark here today. Oh dear. Well, that was unexpected, especially after the pots that she'd made so far. She potted all the pressure balls. But that could be expensive.
Well, this is a good chance, but of course, uh, in many ways, Zoo's got the same scenario as Rian Evans. He's not that used to these conditions. He's certainly different conditions to what he would practice on, so nothing is uh, guaranteed here. Yes, it's just awkward queuing over the brown there. Wants to play the blue. But it's just a little awkward. Yeah, they didn't play to hit the reds. Certainly an attacking shot he played there. Maybe he thought he wasn't going to cannon into the Reds, but now that he's made contact, this is another good chance for Rihanna Evans. I feel like she's got to take advantage of this one. Well, I think it's important for anyone, isn't it, to try and settle down as early as you can. She's aware there's a lot of attention on her. People have said... She shouldn't be regarded as a special case, but she is one. She's the first woman ever to qualify for a ranking tournament. Oh, what a feat. Hasn't quite come as nicely on the pink as she would have liked, but still a chance. Well, she went for it full-blooded. Tried to come round for the red. And as David said, she needs just to be able to settle, drop into the feeling of this match. Black must go, he's played down for it, but earlier on, again, Heaven's had the chance to play for the black. Well, how tight is that? Well, it must have gone because he played the shot, but look where the cue ball's finished up. He certainly didn't play that. He played the pot. That was a real stroke of luck. So, and this is just fraught with danger. There's no hiding place. Looks like it's going to be the old hit and hope here. The problem is that if she hits one of these reds, she's going to push it on. And then she can land up to it. Absolutely dead weight.
This time tried the two cushion escape. Just a little less swerve on the cue ball needed. That's a bit closer. But it'll be going back. A fluke snooker, remember, and it's yielding quite a few points. <laughs> well, she's getting as close as she can to that middle pocket. And then she can impart more right hand side on the cue ball. I don't see her being able to play this shot. Oh, that's a great shot. That's a wonderful shot there from Rianne Evans. Played it to perfection. This is another half chance, you've got to say, for Rian. Could do with the kiss on the red. Well, that's brilliant. Just what she needed. And she won't need the difficult brown, but there is the red next to the black. That could prove to be a problem. She's hit that too hard. She's the wrong side of the blue. Again, it's the conditions, isn't it? Rianne uh, has won all those women's events in snooker clubs. This is a different environment. Much faster cloths. TV lights make a big difference as well. Throws a different light on the ball. It's almost like another potted angle that you have to contend with. I know it took me two or three years to get used to this different type of lighting. Some people take to it naturally, others struggle a little. So a big pot here for Rianne. Nicely played. 
obviously the black goes, but she wanted to be top side of the black to be able to play for the red. Not sure if he can, she can get to the red now. Good pot, that. Played it with right-hand side on the cue ball, trying to check it back across for the red. 16 points in front. Made contact with the black, didn't want to. Leads by 16 points in this opening frame. Oh. Well, what about that for a pot? Can't believe he went for it. Great pot, that one. If he did, in fact, go for it. I don't know. I don't think he did. If he did go for it, what colour did he play for? But it's worked to his advantage. He's brought the brown into play. One good pot here, if she can see enough of the, the yellow. Couldn't see enough of it. I've got the brown safe again. She does need the brown now, but it's a little safer if Sue comes back to the sable. Classic safety here. Yellow twice across the table behind the black. White behind the brown spot. Chance to play it a different way, and there's nothing wrong with that. Without that kiss on the pink, it would have been reasonably safe. to the middle. Well, that was a little careless. She played the snooker. And should have got it. She'll be the first to admit that one. to bring the brown into play. That's a pretty good safety. And full of danger this shot. Free ball if she misses it at pace. If she plays it slow, she's going to be in trouble next shot. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's not a bad kiss either. Of course, Rianne Evans, uh, as it stands right now, will also need the brown. Good hit, and he's got it safe. <laughs> Going to 
going to say that Fiorentzio has had the luck in this frame so far. was a little dangerous to take that one on it was always going to be over the pocket if she missed it the brown safe but there is half a chance here of trying to develop it needs to play with a lot of left hand side potted it too thin Excellent safety shot. And that's big trouble for Rianne Evans. Yes, there's nothing on cushions now, so even if she hits the brown, if she leaves it on, then it's a chance for Zoo to take this opening frame. Good hit. This brown is on. Cue ball will just miss the black. Come back up for the blue. A little pacey. Surely you can't take this blue on. Add that cue ball a little closer to the cushion. This is a real tempter for Rian here. But she won't know what's going to happen to the blue if she misses it. Oh, how close was that? But that could have cost her the game. Good attacking shot she played there. She was on the pink, had it gone in. And because she got so close to the pot, it didn't come away from the pocket. It's been a very scrappy opening frame. Both players trying to adjust to the conditions. Zoo needs pink and black to win it. Got to run a bit, this cue ball. Oh dear, he's not got there.
What about that? What a great pot that was to win the frame. Bags of nerve from this boy, so he takes the opening frame, he leads 1-0.